Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ria. Today, I am going to teach you how to play That Feeling When by N Hypen. But before I start, I would like to ask, have you guys ever heard of Super Thanks before? So basically, Super Thanks is a feature from YouTube that allows viewers like you guys to tip your creators. So in this case, me. <laughs> anyway, I have activated super thanks features on my channel i think since three weeks ago but i've never actually said anything about it until now because i received a notification i think last week that there was actually somebody sending me super thanks without me mentioning about it so shout out to sapach i don't know how to read your name but cpajj thank you very much for sending me super thanks i am really grateful for that because if you guys press that super thanks button, the amount of money that you put in there will be directly sent to us creators after being deducted by YouTube. I'm not sure how many percentage, but yeah. So thank you very much, Montana Toki. Here is a shout out to you if you're watching. <laughs> thank you very much for your support. So yeah, if you guys would like to tip me in any way, feel free to press that super thanks button that is located below my videos and just press, I don't know, one dollar or any amount actually, I will be so grateful if you do so because I will take that money and save that money up for future giveaways and also to produce my songs in the future. Okay, let's do this. We can do this. Let's manifest. But for now, let's focus on the cards of that feeling when. Let's go guys. As usual, feel free to skip ahead if you already know the fingering position of these cards. First card we're going to play is C card. Take our tiny finger, place it on the third fret, first ring. And then we're going to play A minor. Take our middle finger, place it on the second fret, fourth string. Nice. And then to play D minor, let's keep our finger here, okay? Take our index finger, place it on the first fret, second string. And then our ring finger under our middle finger. And then we're going to play F minor. Now this one may be a little bit tricky. Index finger, place it on the first fret, fourth string. Middle finger, first fret two, but on the second string. And then our pinky, take it on the, yeah, put it on the third fret, first string. F minor. And then G7. So it, mm, yeah, index finger, place it on the first fret, first string. Middle finger on the second fret, third string. And then our ring finger, place it on the second fret too, but on the first ring. To sound like the original song, we need to put a capo and place it on the first fret like this. And just play along with the chords. But like any of my other tutorials too, I don't use capo, so yeah. Just remove the capo for now, okay? The string pattern for most parts of this song is down, down, up, up, down. Yeah, like that. So for example, in the first verse, it is going to be this way. Down. With the lyrics slowly okay starting from the intro until the first part of the first one two three four Hard, switching from D minor to F minor quickly so make sure that we can move the transition quickly now okay and if we cannot do that yet let's keep repeating this D minor and F minor and then repeat it over and over again okay now continue to the next part we don't have to play F minor again so it's going to be this G7 directly and then we head straight to the pre-chorus. We have three additional chords for the pre-chorus. The first one is F chord. Take our index finger, place it on the first fret, second string, middle finger on the second fret, fourth string. 
Next is E minor 7, middle finger place it on the 2nd fret, 3rd string, and then our ring finger on the 2nd fret too, but on the 1st string. Mm -hmm. And then last chord for the song is A7, index finger place it on the 1st fret, 3rd string. We're still going to play the same pattern, the down, down, up, up, down, just with different chord progression, and there will also be a slight different later during the G7 part before the last chorus. I'll show you. One, two, three. to do the down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like that. For the chorus, it is pretty much the combination between the first and the pre-chorus. Basically, we're going to play the chord progression during the first, but there will be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, that part again. Yeah, so let's just play along together, yeah? Feels like process again. Can we play in a faster tempo now, please? <laughs> I mean, it's so fun playing on a faster tempo for this song. Yeah, so we're going to repeat what we have learned actually. So during the first, we're going to play the exact same thing like the first verse, and then it goes the same like the pre-chorus and the chorus and the rest. Yeah, let's go! One, two, three, go! today's tutorial i really hope you guys have fun playing this song and hopefully this tutorial is enjoyable to you <laughs> if it does please support me by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel okay thank you very much for watching guys and see you next time bye